it was a little busy but now I am back up here and we're gonna have a kind of a quite long discussion up here about stuff whatever you ask me up here so we're gonna go ahead and do that first let me bring up all the windows and everything up so okay so just give me a few minutes because this doesn't seem to be properly managed comments and reaction okay finally this is important this window is a little bit hard sometimes it goes away so that I can bring all of your comments and everything so like Krishna says hi good to see you hey Krishna good to see you as well uh, Dhan Yu says hello sir hello to you uh, Nilesh says plan to come Bangalore absolutely there are so many of my work that is just uh, going up here uh, too bright today is it too bright uh, let's dim it down a little bit probably I didn't set it up yeah seems okay now ah too too bright <laughs> too less bright <laughs> okay so let's fix this up okay should be okay now yeah seems fine how are you I'm good uh, you're getting stronger day by day. That's all what we are trying. <laughs> Let me bring up my slow mode and all these fancy stuff. I wish YouTube could give me a default setting for that. That would be really great. And it says, hey, retry. Okay, so this is interesting. Not even able to load my library panel up here. So I guess we are not doing any kind of... Uh, hold back today so no slow mode or anything it's going it's gonna go just like this I'm not even able to load this like wow this is super interesting on YouTube side okay so let's go ahead and do that orange juice and code yeah no orange juice and you you guys what is running in your VS code oh this one is uh, this is nothing much. It is just an lco.dev. In case you follow me up on Instagram, I, I wanted to create my own link in bio kind of a stuff. So I did that. It was nothing too fancy, just classic HTML, CSS, nothing of a big deal because I wanted to keep it really fast loading and stuff. And the moment you add more JavaScript, React, anything, of course, it takes a little bit of load. So I want to go like absolute basic in that with classic HTML and CSS. And that's what we did. So it was a Saturday uh stuff like free saturday and stuff so we, we just try to do that uh looks like just push changes to lco git repo <laughs> yeah i i did that actually uh these changes were like for lco.dev uh, really basic stuff nothing too fancy nothing fancy <laughs> Okay, uh, how are you, sir? Please make a Discord community. I can make a Discord community, but again, the problem is I have to maintain it. I have to ask my team, hey, just keep an eye there as well. Uh, kick out all the people who are using abusive comments and encourage all people who are putting up something, share rules. There's a lot of, <laughs> lot of stuff going on. So I don't have that much of time. Hopefully, I'll get some time because uh, the new company that I'm trying uh, is almost done. Hopefully, by next month or probably somewhere around ballpark there the new company will be up and running you know I hold a couple of businesses so I have to keep an eye on that gym motivation I haven't been to gym like this week much like only two or three times which is uh, sufficient for my target but the issue with the gym is I took jab <laughs> not literally but the injection the, the COVID injection vaccine so I took that and after that uh, it was it took me like two or three days to recover back but yeah i'm fully vaccinated now so didn't hit the gym because of that but i'll be back i'll be back on the gym hey thanks for asking by the way oh karan says uh, what's your take on game, game dev industry it's thriving actually uh one of my uh, earlier friends we haven't talked like in like three years or something uh, he went early on into the game dev. at that time android was just getting released uh, there was no Flappy Bird, uh, there was no something such games. He wanted to do that, he did really well. So I think the game industry hasn't yet started in India, I, I would say. It is, it is not getting that break that it really should get. 
like the break that uh, like this uh, IPO market is getting, the share market, everybody nowadays talk about the share market. There will be a time eventually when everybody would be talking about the game dev market. It hasn't reached that yet. So there's a lot of potential to explore as of now. Uh, hey Rupesh, uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Ah, we got a birthday guy. Uh, Shubhanshu, hello sir, it's my birthday. Hey, I wish you a very happy birthday, Subhanshu. Uh, hope you get a good, healthy life and you do amazing in your life. Okay, so uh, let's move on. Okay, so a lot of questions are coming up. Uh, Birju says, Auth and React using Node. How? Uh, just like we did in the Mern course, it's pretty simple. Uh, there are a lot of things you can use OAuth also, but I have gone through with it Like I cannot explain that obviously in this video that wouldn't make sense and we would divert, uh, divert too much, but just like I've shown you in the Mern course That is one of the best practice you can follow along. So no big deal Ah, we got Muthu here as well. Hey Muthu. How are you? It's been well. We haven't talked after that Instagram live chat uh, hopefully uh, Your opinion on service agreements uh, they are kind of a necessary evil, <laughs> service agreements. And service agreements, contracts, like in what sense you want to ask about service agreements? If you will elaborate a little bit, I would definitely be able to talk more on that. So that would help a little bit. Uh, React Native push notification Firebase for specific user. Uh, for specific user, you cannot actually go ahead and do like openly, you have to uh, take the mobile ID of the user, just like we do that sometimes to specific segment of the user. So you have to group those users or a particular user based on the ID and then you can send it. Uh, if you don't have that uh, user ID specific or the device ID you are not capturing, you won't be able to send that. Okay. You, you need to plan it in advance. Okay, so Rupe says, Golang course is so good. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, the people on the YouTube have just seen the tip of the iceberg on the Golang yet. Uh, people who are into the pro.learn code online, they have already seen a lot of courses and I've seen a good uh, number of messages on my Instagram uh, that, yeah, this is going on really nicely and stuff. Ah, there's an interesting question by Subhash. It says, cheapest OTP auth for mobile ID verification. The mobile ID verification, the current situation in India is horrible, horrible to be honest, uh, because you will get some uh, mobile ID, these authentication providers, which can give you OTPs and all of that. Uh, I, I'll definitely look out something and you can reach me out on Instagram personal I'll message you, but let me share the problem that we are also facing that right now you have to actually submit a file that why you need this OTP and that goes on to the telecommunication department and then you get a revert back that, okay, we give you a good to go. And then you receive these ability to send these OTPs and messages. But the problem is you cannot do international notifications as of now. So it sends only in India. Uh, we wanted to actually uh, put this uh, authentication uh, here in India. But uh, the problem is we have a lot of international users. And if we are not able to send the OTP to those international users, it would be really problem. So we want to restrict the user that if you log in into any device, it would be OTP based. We want to do it. We have the system in function, uh, but the problem is we are not getting any service provider who takes the guarantee that yes, we send um, OTPs to all the mobile numbers in the world. We are ready to pay more, but <laughs> we are not getting anyone. So if you know any such solution, uh, uh, let me know. It would be really awesome. Hello, sir. Can you make a video in Nest.js? Uh, yes, Nest and Next both are in my to-do list. Uh, let's see when I get time. It's been uh, running a little bit busy up here. A uh, few courses are being under planning phase right now. We're running a, a little bit late there. So need to plan out them, then need to uh, work on these courses. Recording is like way, way ahead there. And a couple of new announcements. Hey, by the way, our Paymenter app is up and running. So paymenter.io. Uh, where is slow mode? <laughs> right now, there's no slow mode. I don't know why. If I could show you my screen up here. YouTube is not even allowing me to uh, reload my page. It's saying something went wrong. Uh, it's asking me to sign in again. That is too bad. Let me try one more time. Give me a few minutes. And uh, let's see. Hopefully, if I'll... Like, it didn't ask me any login or notification like that. Okay, finally, it's going on. I guess there was some issue going on. 
uh, Twilo, it's expensive. Twilo is there, but it's really very expensive. Uh, backend role for React Native push notification as I'm in front end. Uh, there's a lot that happens in the back end. I don't think I can explain it here, but just with the front end, it's not possible. Hi, sir. I'm working in support analyst role in MNC for two years. So how tough will it be to switch to Amazon or similar company as SDE? As SDE, it would be not too much hard because support analyst is a pretty uh, reputable job. It's not like that kind of support where you just answer the tickets. Uh, support analyst is much more uh, friendlier towards the code. So I think it would be relatively easier for you. But still, I would say that if you're preparing for interviews, it sometimes takes like three to six months, depends what your previous code exposure is. But I think moving into any company, from one company to another, it takes around two to six months or three to six months, give or take. And you need to prepare for the interviews, not for preparation for how you build your skill and preparation for coding interviews is kind of a different game. So that's where, yeah. Okay, so looks like uh, now I have got my panel back so I can enable the live control room. <laughs> I can access that. Okay, so. Come on, YouTube, do it faster. Oh, we haven't put up any thumbnail. I'll, I'll design that. And here is the customization. Okay, finally, the slow mode is saved. I'll, I'll keep it open to anyone, whether you are subscriber or not, you can answer ask any questions. So I don't mind that. I do that sometimes for fun, uh, but it's not like I intentionally do it. Anybody can ask whether you like to subscribe or not. That's up to you. I don't... I don't really bother about that. To be honest, after 100,000, uh, it's just the same number till you hit the million, of course. Uh, but I don't check my subscribers often now, so it's fine whether you subscribe or not. It's okay. It's fine. Okay, uh, please make push notification and sockets usage as its trend. It's not just trend. It's uh, kind of a necessity. We are building a product based on that. I'll introduce you with that product just like I introduced you with the paymenter.io. Uh, we are building up a lot of socket IO notifications through MongoDB. It's a fun exercise that we are doing there. I'll definitely talk about that and introduce you to this product as well. We are building it. Hopefully, like uh, by the next month's first week, I'll introduce you on that and we'll give you on that. Uh, DS Discount on DSA. We don't do discounts, uh, no coupons or anything. If you are thinking that this is a little bit more expensive, go to pro.learncode.online. And you'll get access to all the courses. So that is like one of the best deal you can have. Ah, there is a Golang programmer here. It says a fumped print uh, applications of Golang. Uh, whatever you want, you can build in Django, whatever you can build in Node.js, whatever you can build in PHP. Those are all the basic applications. Golang can go definitely far beyond uh, all of these mentions, but yeah. Oh, uh, Jitain says, uh, wish me for my REIT exam. Hey, brother, best of luck for your REIT exam. I wish you get really amazing marks in that and you clear that. And what's your age, bro? I told you, 19 and a half. <laughs> 19 and a half. Yeah, Anirudh, Anirudh remembers this, 19 and a half. I'll, I'll be 19 and a half for next like four, five years. So, yeah. Ah, interesting. Anything on algorithm-based trading or tech and finance sector, any course on introduction will help? Uh, I don't think so. I'm fully equipped or fully knowledgeable person to do that. And to be honest, I wouldn't bet my money on an algorithm. I would like to personally buy my shares and stuff. I don't do trading, to be honest. I, I'm more of a long-time investor. So I don't think so. I'm fully equipped or knowledgeable enough to give you idea on that. I, I don't think so. Uh, is there any plan to give options in LCO to increase the course duration? You can buy it again. <laughs> a few courses are just $199, $299. You can buy again. Uh, or better way, the plan is actually to move ahead into further direction of LCO Pro uh, because it helps me to move into smaller courses. 
like when the course is small i sometimes feel like yes there is a lot of effort that went into this just because there are 10 videos in that code doesn't means it's a less value sometimes the skills are like complex and you want to explain them but what you're going to do with the courses which are 10 videos 20 videos long or maybe shorter than that in that case if i charge you like uh, 299 399 it sometimes feels uh, am i charging too much if i give it for free it would be like uh, too much of effort and uh, you haven't got anything in return so lco pro actually makes sense that you can put up these short courses and tutorials and live classes and all of that and you ask user to pay just uh, what 10 rupees a day and you give them all the access and you can freely work other user can also freely walk into that let's just say you are learning django you missed a python concept you can flip back understand that concept it's basically for more of a serious learners uh, so yeah on that apur i missed my earlier super chat please see it ah uh, did i missed it actually sometimes super chat doesn't hang and that's where ah uh, this is i guess i missed it let me just find that ah uh, there is there is one by rohan it's we have answered this one uh, sometimes super chats hang i think youtube should do something about it that all the super chat should hang up in there and somehow it's not me it's youtube youtube only hangs up the chat which is above 100 so not my fault i'm not doing it uh, but actually youtube does it uh, how's the future of data analyst hitesh sir is it worth doing masters i'm currently in third year bachelors it is a fantastic career option but don't expect that the colleges are going to actually teach you what you really want to learn uh, because in the world of data analytics uh, having a mastery of uh, mysql obviously is a necessary thing and a lot of time there is a lot of a uh, basic theory and unnecessary subjects that are added in the curriculum that might uh, get you on the hooks uh, so that is one thing and apart from that uh, learn the bi tools there are so many bi business intelligence tool you should more focus on that that would actually help you a lot okay uh, survey says uh, guru ji <laughs> thank you you can call me just a face uh, how to approach for interviews i have completed your mern react html right now i'm practicing your js mock test and yeah thanks for amazing course you offer hey uh, thank you so much uh, how to approach for interviews is pretty simple you need to just keep an eye open for all the opportunities that come in uh, reach out people via linkedin or just drop them an email and make sure you are having you're showing some courtesy there uh, the email and the chat is not like hey give me just job give me just job uh, it should be more friendly you should provide more details like i have learned this course i have built these three new projects based on this course so i am a worker you are not just saying that hey i am a hard worker the problem is so many people just say in the interviews i am a hard worker so why haven't you worked hard yet that is the biggest question that i always ask in interviews so make sure you just don't say i am a hard worker you put your efforts there it should show up on your github profile and then keep an eye open there are so many opportunities open in a lot of companies their official websites are <laughs> yelling at you that hey just go for that heat engine says are you really ha- 19 and a half yes of course just like your name i'm absolutely real yeah, exact that age <laughs> okay uh next up bhavit uh, it says how the future of data analysis uh, yeah that was the question i was answering earlier but there are a lot more super chats i need to answer them as well uh shishir says ah oh, that's a nice name shishir yeah that's a really cool name actually i've heard it for the first time uh thank you tesh uh for just everything hey uh, thank you i really appreciate uh also they say uh sorry <laughs> it just went up uh also they say uh, go can be used for pretty much anything but in what case would you prefer go as first language some says it's good for system programming thoughts yes of course it's good for system programming uh but i would say at any place where you are using microservices i would love to use go there at any place where we are using different machines to do a lot of job and especially when there is a messaging queue in that place i would love to use golang because golang actually has this inbuilt feature of channels that can talk to mutex uh via mutex of course and the channels and uh, there's a pipeline so all of these things are actually microservices so that is where i would love to use golang i wouldn't use golang in something like an e-commerce basic which has a, which is having just 100 user as a traffic no i wouldn't use that golang there uh, but something on the cloud which is expanding massively there i would love to use golang apis and stuff 
And you will save so much of resources in the cloud because you can just get one machine which is heavy on the threads. Uh, you have m multiple cores there. And you don't need to put up like five different machines to balance your load. You can balance your load in just one machine, which is very predictable, very manageable. So in those cases, I would love to use Golang. In fact, we use that. Uh, after getting charged uh, 6,000 in first three days, shifted to DigitalOcean from AWS, launched audiobook and podcast app last week. I hope now you can appreciate that how much we are affording uh, based on the videos that you see at LCO. So first three days, you spent 6,000. I think you are still cheaper on that side. Uh, but yes, videos, audios, streaming, everything is expensive. So yeah, I hope you can appreciate LCO now that how we are able to provide these courses at this price. Uh, that is that is fun thing. Ah, Aniket, the UI of Paymenter looks awesome and it's really smooth. Curious to know if it is natively coded or some sort of hybrid framework. It's not native, that's all I can say. And a big shout out to our team, uh, especially Ranga and, uh, uh, and Akshat. Uh, they helped a lot in the initial. It was just a frustrated thought that I was having. Uh, I remember that I I got a deduction of the payment from I think it was Freepick or Netlify. I, I don't remember. It was something like, yeah, Netlify actually charged me $12 or something. And of course, I'm a monthly regular user of their pro services. Uh, but I don't like these surprises. I, I thought that there should be an app where I can track all the payments and credit cards and everything. So that would be really, really nice. And after that, I worked with a lot. A lot of iteration went through with the UI. That was the most difficult part. Once I was satisfied with that, uh, then we went up all of that. Okay, so I try my best to look up all the super chats and stuff, but sometimes these uh, smaller ones get overlooked. Uh, can I take a year gap and prepare for comp uh, product companies? 100% yes. I think we need to normalize this thing in India as well, that taking a break, taking a gap, one year gap is 100% okay. And you can just go into an interview and say, hey, I was taking break for my myself. I was not feeling well. I, I took my bag and went into some mountains or something. It is okay. Life is not getting ended in just one year. It's okay to take a break. Uh, Hotstar Tech is using Golang for scaling as per some of their talks on the YouTube. Yes, Hotstar need to go in that. And... Uh, I guess uh, Udacity is also using that. Uh, there's another guy, by same name with the Udacity, or is it Udacity? <laughs> I need to check that. Uh, they also like shrink their server uh, capacity. I, I read that in the blog or I talked to somebody in the Udacity that they shrink from 12 machines to four machines in, in that. So that is really massive and that is really good. So that's where the power of the Golang actually comes in. It's Right now, the market and the YouTube is all hyped about JavaScript and the React and the stuff. I do that also. But I believe that in the very near future, within like two, three days, everybody will be talking about the Golang. And at that time, I'll be again the guy who, who just got the course up and running early, just like I did in the JavaScript case. Before it became a, a trend, my JavaScript series was already there. And same up here. Okay, so hey Tesh, missed my super chat. Please have a look. I'm trying my best, my buddy. I'm trying. Uh, Kulp says 18% tax. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention that, that whatever the price is there, there's an 18% taxes. If you buy via Apple, there's a 30% Apple tax. Uh, so yeah. Uh, when LCO offline training will start? I don't think so. We'll start it again in Jaipur. Uh, because now the training demand that's coming up is personally for me and that's coming up from Brussels, a uh, couple of places in Germany. So I'll be traveling there to give trainings. They are paying me good. Uh, here, if I ask what I really want to charge, people just say, hey, that's too expensive. So I don't think so. I'll be doing that anytime soon, probably in the future. Haha, this is, this is the classic example of misinterpreting the thing. So you are saying JS will will die in future. Like this is like putting words in my mouth. Uh, uh, do you belong to some like Z News or something? Just kidding, just kidding friend. <laughs> no, I don't mean to say that uh, the JavaScript is dying. We still work in PHP. A lot of our work is in the PHP also. We cannot abandon those clients which we are already working. Nothing is gonna, gonna die, but eventually there's a shift in paradigm. 
some languages become more popular, some get less popular. Like there was a time when you were not there on YouTube. Ruby on Rails, like like the absolute crown. Everything used to happen in Ruby on Rails. Then the Django came in. It became insanely popular. It is to a lot of extent. And right now, uh, React is on too much hype. Eventually, the Golang will get its own crown. So things change. Things move on. The only thing which is consistent in the world of development is the change. That is the only consistent thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Hitesh on fire. <laughs> no, I, I just sometimes talk uh, like thinking you as just a friend or a colleague. Uh, or just like I, I, <laughs> I talk like that. So it was not intentional. I just sometimes... Uh, Act like you are just my buddy. Sometimes I get too comfortable with you guys. Uh, that's why I, I do that. Eight years ago, you were like 20 years old in your uh, YouTube videos and you are telling that your age is now 19.5. Yeah, see, this is the magic of YouTube. A little bit of gym, a little bit of uh, hair or this skin routine by Mama Earth or something. Hey, Mama Earth, can you sponsor me or something? I would love to talk about... <laughs> Uh, so yeah. Uh, dear sir, I have taken admission. Any MCA admission in MC? Any tips? Yeah, learn to uh, make proxies. Uh, learn to bunk. That is the most important thing you're going to have. Now, after doing that bunk or after taking that uh, class, of what you're doing with that, that's up to you. I'm not saying always go and study, but if you spend that time a little bit in the study part, it will benefit you. Uh, again, you always criticize Z News, but not Dhruv, sir. Uh, why, sir? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen Dhruv's content that much. Uh, like, yeah, some of the videos I've seen, they were nice, especially the history part. I, I'm a history lover, so whatever that, it gets really nice. He gets really correct onto the history part. Some of them, some not. Uh, I think he need to take again to to the off switch. Uh, that was a little bit mistaken, but he's okay, decent. I, I don't get too much into the politics because, see, it doesn't matter who is sitting in the house, uh, whether it's BJP or Congress or any other. Uh, eventually, we are the guys who will be paying the taxes. Uh, we'll be getting a lot of burdens. And, uh, and <laughs> they are all just the same. It's not that one is better than other. <laughs> all are just equal morons. <laughs> if they would be all good, I would be having better roads, better hospitals. Uh, my visa would be on arrival in most of the countries, but it's not. So, yeah, it's it's kind of the same thing. So focus on how you can build yourself as a skilled person and all of that. Uh, enough of the politics. Can we get uh, back to uh, all these uh, Andy TV and all, all of that stuff? Okay. Uh, how will no code affect coders? I think no code is one of the great thing that is happening right now. Because the more no code is going to evolve, the more demand of coder is going to come in. Because uh, these platform obviously are, de are designed by coders. And the people who initially will be using this no code platform will eventually realize that there is a foundation, there is a limitation what we can do. So now they have tasted the, the this juice of programming and coding they want to get it more it's it's almost like that they want to build more feature and stuff and eventually they will move and look for more coders so i think uh, if you look from my perspective i think no code thing is one of the great thing that is happening right now it's bringing more people into the paradigm of coding and which is uh, really the amazing thing uh, make some videos on open source contribution <laughs> i would but to be honest with you, open source contribution is not worth making a video because everything is already on the GitHub. Like you go and check out the repos of MySQL and Postgres and you're going to see so many of the bugs being reported there. Uh, if you have skills that much at the scale, uh, just take a pull and start working on fixing those bugs and just submit the repo and that's it. You have contributed in the open source. That's, that's basically it is. Okay, uh, what to do after uh, your Django course? Please tell me in details. You should go for MySQL or MongoDB because once your game is solid in the Django, the next step is obviously to explore more. It's either ORM or a core foundation of a database. That should be the next goal. 
Uh, what are you drinking? Is it cold tea? No, it's not cold tea. It's just orange juice. Ah, oh, it's looking too orangish uh, in <laughs> in the videos. Setup tour. I have the most boring setup to be honest. Uh, there is just one computer, one screen here, one iMac here, a keyboard and mouse. That's all on my desk. Like there is literally nothing. Of course, this mouse pad, a water bottle, but there's nothing more on my desk. I like to keep my desk clean. There is no fancy light. There is no RGB. I work in just plain white light. That's that's all I do. Uh, so I have the most boring stuff <laughs> that you can possibly have. GitHub crash course. We can do that. We can do that. Uh, I do already have a full course on GitHub uh, and Git, of course. Oh, but crash course, yeah, we can do that. I'll, I'll try very soon out doing that. Uh, videos on iOS, Sir Nepal. Uh, to make videos on iOS, I need to get a little bit more crazy. A lot of you don't know, but I'm literally, literally killing my channel by uploading the Golang series because the views are very less. Obviously, not all of you are interested in Golang and I'm still putting up daily videos on Golang. It actually kills the channel growth. Uh, if you talk in, in the context of numbers, you need to make more videos on uh, top five and the roadmaps and uh, some comparison video, Node versus PHP to keep your channel alive. Uh, but the way I'm doing it by putting every day on the Golang, I'm actually literally killing my channel and just kind of sinking it. But I think it is important. And same goes for the iOS as well. When I'll feel a bit more crazy to go for, then I'll start an iOS series, which nobody in India is going to watch. Only probably like 20 people will watch it <laughs> of my subscribers, but I'll still do it. So I need that amount of craziness to go for it. There are very few people who want to actually learn iOS development. And that's why when you look out for the jobs and stuff, you easily get job in iOS world like compared to Android or the web, because there are only a handful of developers who are applying for the core iOS role. Of course, companies are also smaller in comparison to others. Uh, but yeah. And no, I'm not stopping the Golang series. I cannot even stop that. Like I can, but uh, not really, uh, because the series is already planned up. If you go to the watch uh, the playlist part, you'll see that all of the series is already uploaded. So it's not like I'm are uh, gonna change anything on that. So it's already being uploaded, it's there and it's good. Working as a software engineer with good uh, pay, but still have FOMO and doubt on my skills. We all have my friend, we all have that. Trying to learn uh, too many things and ends up being frustrated, feels sad and empty at times. Probably you're watching from YouTube or something. Uh, prefer watching it from courses uh, that will give you a more straight guide no noise because at the time of learning it's very uh, you need to be concentrated on one thing so learning from a course actually gives you that concentration and FOMO we all feel that when I was learning AWS I was feeling the same so it's it's a mutual feeling it's not like you are exclusive there so we are all feeling that uh, so yeah, things are going like that. But I would recommend to learn from courses, not just from Learn Code Online, wherever you see that, but a dedicated platform is there. Uh, then it actually, the job of the YouTube is to distract you. Job of the courses platform is to make sure that you complete the course. So that's why less distraction is there. Can I get opportunity of doing job as work from home permanently? Yes, of course. A lot of companies are moving on that. So yeah. Thoughts on standing desk. I want to get one. I, I'm ready to move this one out and get a standing desk, uh, but I'm not getting one in Jaipur. So if anybody can ship it, I would love to uh, have that. So reach me out if anybody sells a uh, standing desk or can ship standing desk in Jaipur. Uh, if you can ship it, I'm ready to pay extra. No problem in that, but I need a setup up here for standing desk. I would love that. How to get a job as a Golang developer? I have two years of experience with Node.js, Postgre, and Vue. Uh, right now, there are only a few companies which are working in Golang, and they would need a little bit of the portfolio now in the Golang. Your past experience of Node.js is not going to help much in Golang because it's a totally different animal. It's almost like saying, I have an experience in PHP. Can you hire me as a Node.js developer? The answer is no, we cannot. Most of the companies are going to say the same. You need to have a first-hand experience on Node.js. Similarly, in the Golang, you need to have a Golang first-hand experience, a little bit of the repos on the Git, 
few few uh, CRUD APIs, few something a little bit more complex. This is how you're going to be. Okay, so uh, have you ever went for hackathon? Uh, like four and five, I judged them, uh, four or five of hackathons. Uh, it was good, fun. Uh, one incident I, that reminds me that I was judging this hackathon and I literally added up 10,000 from my pack pocket that whoever, right on the stage, right on the stage, I, I made the announcement that here is the 10,000 rupees. Uh, the person who is going to win this, uh, the first rank, uh, however your judges actually do that, I'll give you this right here in the cash. And I felt so bad that the organizers and the teachers, they actually splitted my money right in front of my face, uh, give like uh, 4,000 to the first one, 3,000 to the second winner and the remaining to the third winner. Uh, so I really felt bad because my instructions were clear. I wanted to give this entire sum of 10,000 rupees to the first winner, not to the second, not to the third, so that the first guy can have an appreciation the second and third can work really hard that sometimes you get opportunities like that but right in front of my face my money they distributed without even asking me i felt bad about that so that is one experience about judging hackathons yeah fan of ragu dikshit yeah a lot of people came to me biting me about ragu dikshit but what can i do i love his song no matter how I say the word Nike or Nike, I'll still love it. There are some people who just get too much on that. But yeah, this is how. Abhijit says, want to see 1 million subscribers on the channel. How much should I wait? Uh, probably within two years. <laughs> or when I will start making catchy videos. Because, see, the point is, and probably some of you might want to take it as a as a short snippet to post it up on your meme channels or something. So let me tell you how YouTube works. When you put up a video on how to learn English, you'll get a million views. When you put up a video on this is how you learn noun, this is how you learn pronoun, then you get 20 views. This is how literally YouTube works. When you put advising videos, it gets tons of views, but when you actually go ahead and do that work, you get less views. How to learn Golang will get like 100,000 views. But when I'm teaching literally Golang, it will get like what, 300, 400 views. And regardless of how many subscribers you have, because that's how it is. That's how, and that's how it is going to be. Is DevOps pay less than developers? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> no, this is not, this is not. You're living in a different world, my friend. DevOps mean developer plus operations. So you have the knowledge of developer and on some of the days you can act as a pure developer. On some of the days you can act as a pure operational guy. Just make a Go course for 200 on LCO. It's free, my friend. No need to make it even for 200. It's free. You can just enjoy that. But one video a day or LCO Pro. So, yeah. Okay, so... Okay, there is a super chat. Hope I don't miss it. Uh, please make a video, uh, advance auth with verification mail, send grid another, forgot password, etc. in MERN. Uh, yes, there is something in pipeline regarding this. Uh, hopefully, we'll be very soon be able to put up something on this. Uh, this request is already in the pipeline. Somebody requested it and we are already taking care of that. Uh, we will definitely go absolutely pro in that. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, developers are copycat. Absolutely. Everybody is a copycat. I saw somebody that this is how you make a uh, bicep curl. I am looking at it. I'm following that best practice. That's how we do. I saw somebody how he declares the variable. Now I'm declaring the same way. I saw in the GitHub that somebody, this is the best practice to run the loop. I'm doing the same. So we all are copycats. We all copy at every single place. Somebody saw that in the hilly areas where there is ice and there is a snowfall, we use this kind of houses, everybody else started copying it. So we all are. And I think there is no harm in that. It's just perspective. And I have that kind of a uh, common perspective. Okay, so. Okay, uh, Ankur says, sir, any good course on Java plus Spring Boot not available on LCO? Not yet. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll do that very soon, uh, but not right now. 
you can watch on Java Brains. I think it is a paid playlist or I'm not pretty sure, but he has done like a really good course on React and Spring and all of that. And uh, Naveen also teaches us nicely, uh, the Spring Boot and stuff. So you can learn from him as well. I'll, I'll try to deliver it through my way very soon. Because, you know, sometimes it, it happens that you get with the teacher so friendly and you are able to understand his context very clearly. So in that case, you want to learn from him. Uh, but first, I need to learn that and it takes a little bit of time. So I'll do that, but very soon. Clickbait is unreasonably effective. Uh, yeah, it is. I have accepted that long time ago. Can you make a course on Kafka? We are taking down a lot of DevOps on our blog section first. And once we are done there, uh, we'll take it on the video segment as well very soon. TCS or Accenture, which company is best for fresher? Uh, both are good. I personally like TCS because I'm a shareholder. So <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I think both of them are good. I personally prefer TCS as is running quite nicely these days. So yeah. I love these companies. A lot of people bash these companies, Infosys, TCS. I don't. I love these companies. Look at their shares and stuff. They're growing so nicely. I love that. I haven't worked there, but I'm probably getting more dividend and more income there. So I'm all happy with that. Your energy is awesome. It's a positive energy. It's an energy of humbleness. Everybody loves it. Uh, Hitesh, why don't you upload videos on class components in React courses? I have already done that. I have a full-fledged course which uses just the class-based component in React, but it is exclusive only at pro.learncodeonline.in. It was a bit of a little bit older of a course, so new people thought that, hey, classes are going outdated, now everything is functional. So I revamped the course. Now all the new audience see just the one course, but everybody who is in the pro learn code online, they are able to see both courses, uh, the class version and the functional version as well. So we do do that both. <laughs> uh, Vicky, it's not about you send me 20 rupees or 30 rupees. My time is much more valuable. The reason why I give priority to the super chat because that's how it works in the world. Uh, if you even pay more or if you're a premium client, you get even a separate line in the temples also. So <laughs> that's what I do. It's not about you give me 20 or 30 rupees. I'll pick it up directly as well. So don't be like that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how to become Android developer? I have no programming knowledge. What to start? And where I know you are a little bit in the panic mode. Don't be like that. First, take a deep breath. That's how you're going to become programming programmer. Because there are going to be a lot of frustration in that. Start with something like Java or JavaScript. Understand the programming basics. And then after that will come the Android or whatever you want to learn. Start with my free JavaScript series. Get a sense of programming, whether you like it, you are able to understand it or not. Spend some time with the JavaScript course. It's free. And then we are going to do that. And no need to send 20 rupees. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's pick up from Apur. It says, also want to start my own YouTube channel for programming. Uh, can you just kick me so that I can stop being lazy and start one? I would say, yes, please go ahead and start one YouTube channel if you really are into teaching, uh, video making, and all of that. Uh, I think... If you are interested in that much, uh, you should go ahead and do that because there is nothing lost in here. Uh, probably you'll like it, you'll stay up here. Definitely one thing I would like to put up in front that it's going to consume a lot of time. You're going to receive a lot of unnecessary controversies and hate, that's a part. But it's a fun journey. So I would say if anybody of you would like to give it a try on YouTube channel or something, be my guest. In case you want to have any question regarding camera, gear or anything, just drop me an Instagram, I would answer it. Uh, go ahead, get started with that. And uh, about being lazy, I have just one answer to that. If any time you want to feel motivation, there is an absolute awesome app in your mobile phone and that can do a UPI. Go ahead, do a UPI of your bank balance. That is the biggest motivation that can come. I know I sound money-minded, but that is the fact, my friend. That's how the world works. And even though if more like uh, 300 or 3,000 or 300,000 more YouTuber comes onto uh, YouTube and start teaching programming, there would still be shortage of uh, people who are creating quality content and getting enough of exposure. So again, it doesn't matter. Even more people will come. Obviously, they will come. 
And what sets you apart is your mindset, how you're treating others, how respectful you are, how much you want to do collaboration with them. That is all the part of the game. So, yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, hi, sir. I uh, joined a company before three months. Hey, congratulations. Seems like new joiny. Uh, I'm mostly working on HTML and CSS only till now and sometimes JS. Should I switch my job? Tech stack was Vue.js. Uh, it's just been three months, my friend. No, no company is going to give you a more complex job as of now. Uh, I don't give it in my company, any of my company, because I think it is too being cautious a little bit. New developers need to get a little bit friendly, need to be a little bit comfortable. Three months, I don't think, you're, you're making too fast of a switch right now. HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript, that means you are fine there. Just keep on working and spend like at least six months and then ask for more complex of a work, like give me now more of a Vue.js projects or Vue.js complex work or something in the database. You need to get a little bit old. I would never give any in any of my company a guy a role uh, with three months, like any complex project. I, I wouldn't. I need to see that how this person is adapting What's his behavior? How well he's playing with the team game? Because nowadays, uh, not to mention this, but a lot of people are coming in. They have this sense like I'm the best developer and all these guys who are working there, they are just morons or idiots. I know you are a good developer, but having this team spirit, providing respect to other developers, whether they are lower than you in quality or upper, it doesn't matter. I need you to be a team player. That is the most important. That's what I check in the earlier days. Probably your employer is also checking that. Courses on microservices. Ah, that is a to-do. That is a very uh, kind of a near future to-do. I would do that in the JavaScript, of course, not anything else. So that's what will be. Uh, <laughs> 20 rupees from Bitcoin wallet. <laughs> Could you send me 20 Bitcoins? <laughs> Okay, uh, watching. Chaliye shuru karte. Maybe he won't gonna say it at all. <laughs> no, no, I, I can say that. Chaliye shuru karte. But again, I hope uh, Gaurav doesn't mind it from technical guruji. I hope he doesn't. He won't be seeing my channel. Why would he see? <laughs> like I'm not his channel competition type or something. Okay. First, I like your this pick. It's a little bit too reddish for me, but. It just, like, I, I see all of your messages on Instagram just because of this pic, and I, I remember you because of this pic. Okay, so Chandra says, uh, TypeScript for React Native. Lost it, just a second. Uh, TypeScript for React Native, uh, your thoughts. JS versus TS, which is which one is more uh, wordy in writing codes? Uh, check, okay, uh, that check green soul standing desk. I guess that's an emoji, but it somehow just doesn't show me the emoji. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Check. Oh, oh, you are recommending me for the standing desk. Sorry, my bad. Got the context now. Check the green uh, soul standing desk. I'll, I'll check that. Uh, compare coming to the JS and TS. Uh, honestly, the TS is getting more attraction. It's really nice. I I would love to work on the uh, TS more. But when I am doing the project, I first foremost see that what kind of team would be easily available because I'm not at a scale of Microsoft, of course. All the projects that we do are local projects or probably a startup in Australia or New Zealand or some local companies that we work for them. It's a good money, uh, but that's what we do. And we need to figure out that whether we will have enough of team who can work more comfortably in JavaScript or the TypeScript. This is what we do. In the case of Microsoft, that's not a problem or the case of Google or other companies, it's not an issue. Those companies can give a leave to the developers that, hey, here's 15 days off. You can learn the TypeScript and come back, or we can do another recruiting type for just TS. So it all depends on what kind of liberties you are having in hand. Personally, I would love to work more on TypeScript because I think the syntax and everything is much more awesome. But I've even seen the codes which are in TypeScript, but are not taking advantage of TypeScript. And that is the worst thing. Like you are writing TypeScript, but you are not taking the full advantage of the TypeScript. Then what's the point of writing the TypeScript? So. And again, it's not just the one or two developers need to be good in the TypeScript. All of them needs to be good so that all of them can write very optimized TypeScript. Then it makes sense. Otherwise, I don't think so. it's a sense to have that. Hmm. Mukesh says, uh, where is your phone or distracting gadget? 
you never get distracted ever. No, I get distracted. I'm just equally just like you. I'm not an alien or an Elon Musk. I get distracted. But uh, no, I I never ever give anybody my phone number or my WhatsApp. I'm rare, I rarely open my WhatsApp. I don't have any friends on WhatsApp. All of my other friends, uh, basketball team, to be honest, entirely from my school days. Uh, we usually get on to hop on to calls or more probably we prefer to hop on on Sundays at my studio. So I don't do that and I never ever give anybody my contact number or such thing. Even if I give, I don't pick up the call. This is just here. It is always here. So this is one of that. There is still a notification, but that's from Rakesh. You can see him on the blogs, Learn Code Online. Probably that's something work. There's my another phone. Uh, this is OnePlus. So this is what I use. There's no SIM in this phone. I use that for testing all the apps and stuff. Uh, so these are the two phones that I mostly use. This one is having a SIM, but I rarely check that. I even miss a lot of my phones also. I'm not that kind of a phone guy. Like in between I check when the videos are exporting or in the sets of the gym, I hop into my Instagram, reply there. So that, that's what I do. Okay, uh, which companies did you work uh, before? I have worked uh, in a few, a lot of. Uh, in the security, I have worked in uh, tech defense. I have uh, once worked in one of the Delhi-based company. I'm not allowed to take the name because uh, we are not in a good terms now. <laughs> Probably they will mind. Yeah, that was also a security company. I have worked in a New York-based startup, which is now sold to a Spanish company. Yeah, there I was writing majorly regex, so that was that was work from home in the, those days where uh, things were when the work from home word was not invented. So that time it was a good job, and I have worked with the Firestore team uh, in the Google. That was also a fun project, and uh, once I did a contract work for Google as well. Uh, it was a nice work, uh, no perks, but it was a nice work, and uh, I have worked in in a couple of other security companies as well. Never worked in Microsoft yet in any contract or any position. I have given trainings also in a couple of other companies. Uh, I'm not sure I'm allowed to take name or not uh, because it was like a third party contract that came to me that this is the big company, kind of a mass recruiter in India and you have to train 150 students uh, on this topic. And I just went in and gave the training. So training wise, I have given many. Uh, it, it was lovely that just standing on the stage and delivering the training. It, it's a nice feeling. And now everything is online. I'm loving this too, by the way. So yeah, this is how it is. Love to see you, sir, smiling after a long time. Uh, my smile is always constant. Sometimes uh, it's not too much exaggerated on videos. Uh, but yeah, it's always kind of a constant. Uh, here's a fan of uh, TypeScript. Pick TypeScript uh, any day. Uh, yes, I would also love to pick TypeScript, but again, the problem with that is, are you efficiently using TypeScript with your entire team? I would, I would love to do that. Uh, okay. Okay, I know I can buy your time, uh, but would happily pay you my month's salary as a one-to-one -one session for a few hours with you. You are awesome. Uh, no need for paying me entire month's salary. Uh, you can just, uh, if you are in Jaipur or somewhere, you can just hop on. You can find me anywhere on the road or gym or any session. You don't need to pay me that much. Uh, my sessions are kind of a little bit expensive for the consultancies. That's where I actually provide my expertise to corporates and all that. That I do charge up front, to be honest. Blatantly, I put up my face uh, there that, hi, this is what I'm going to charge. To all the sponsors that comes in, I lose a lot of sponsor deal. Because I upfront says that, hey, uh, for this particular video, I'll charge 60,000 rupees, 80,000 rupees, 1.5 lakh. And they say that's too much. I say, okay, you can go. I, I don't really care. Because if I'm putting up the effort and all that, I'm expensive. But uh, for lovely guys like you who are just getting started in the early days, I don't need to charge. Uh, but again, if you need any help or anything in the Instagram, if you are starting up a YouTube channel, my wishes all to you. May you get one million subscriber before me. So I always wish for that. Uh, sir, as a fresher, I love Rust, Node.js, etc. But I hate Java. It's okay. Uh, not only JVM. Will I get job in my favorite tech stack as a fresher? Yes, of course. 100% you'll get it. And we all have a love and hate with some languages uh, like that. 
Like I initial days, I loved Pearl, and I still to this date I hate Pearl a lot. <laughs> Uh, so we all have this love and hate relation. So don't worry if you if you like Rust and Node.js, uh, keep your command because Node.js is more uh, prolifically used. So you'll find a lot of jobs there. Rust is going to take a little while to develop and all of that. So I think you'll you'll hundred percent get a job of that. Thoughts on KPMG cybersecurity profile for fresher? It's okay. Uh, you'll get a lot of chance. Oh, one of my friend is posted in KPMG in the New Zealand office. Chintan, his name is Chintan. I was supposed to go New Zealand to meet him, uh, but through KPMG, you can get a lot of opportunities to move abroad. Uh, that's that's one of the thing. Initially, it was a plan that Chintan moved to New Zealand. He asked me, hey, Tesh, uh, you join in KPMG. I'll bring you up here in New Zealand. And I thought, it's a good offer. Let's just move to New Zealand. Somehow, I stayed in here. He is in New Zealand. <laughs> uh, your point of view on Laravel. Any plan for the course on Laravel and LCO? Thanks for providing valuable content. Thank you. Yes, there is a plan for Laravel. I'm not getting enough time because one course itself takes three months. If you properly prepare it in advance, all the codes and stuff, it's not about, I just want to throw up the content. I want to throw it up so nicely that you enjoy every minute of the course. Every single next app that we create or next website that we create, you are all uh, excited about the things. That's what the thing is. So uh, stuff goes like that. Uh, talk something controversial. I want a meme. Ah. <laughs> Why you want to drag me there? Keep me out of that. I'm 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 not a big guy to be dragged in a meme. I'm I'm a very uh, small time YouTuber who somehow get all of you guys as an audience. I'm I'm not a big deal. Even in my LinkedIn bio and all that I've written, I'm I'm just a small time teacher who loves to code, and that's pretty much it. That's what defines me in a single line. I'm not your guy to bring a lot of attention and controversies like I have my own opinion on those things I like some stuff I don't like some stuff whether you resonate with me or not that's your issue not mine <laughs> uh, switching uh, from node.js to go what's your take if you know what company you are looking forward to switch and go there then it's probably one of the one of the best views or best take otherwise just keep it as, as a side a sidearm. You can pull it off whenever you need it. That's what my take is. Money says one of your video on what is API has hit 1.6 million views. Give me a second. I need to check that. Is it really? Let me just check. I never checked it. What is API? Yeah, it's 15 lakh four years ago. Ah, that's nice. And there's a video from Technical Sagar also. API kya hota hai. And there's a video from Talisco also. Ah, nice. Ah, well, how many views of Talisco? Never checked that. Uh, 24 lakhs. Oh man, he's, he's awesome. He's rocking. And 3.3 .3 lakh for Technical Sagar. Ah, they're rocking. Told you. They are way above me. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> trying here. Uh, there are people who are killing it. Okay. Ah, that's nice. Good to know. Thank you. Okay, hi sir, any suggestion for AI ML professionals to start with AWS certification and start cloud journey that does AWS ML certification worth it? Yes, it is worth it, but it is really a complex certification. It requires a lot of work in ML side as well as in AWS side. I would never recommend anybody to just directly go into that. Start with something like solution architect or solution engineer or something, and then you should move on to the ML part of that. So it, it's, a, it's a little bit on the difficult side of certification, but definitely 100% worth it uh, if you're applying these things uh, onto your job or life, something like that. Okay, so did I miss anything? No, seems like not. Uh, can we get how to get a girlfriend after job on LCO? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe they'll offer these services uh, the the payment agreement, the income share agreement is there. Probably somebody will launch a course with these kinds of agreement services as well that will 100% guarantee that you'll get a job, you'll get a wife, you'll get married, you'll get kids and all of that. Just sign it up here and <laughs> you'll, you'll get that. Probably, I don't know, somebody will start it. Every crazy idea is a startup these days. So, uh, Is Docker dying? Absolutely not. 
little bit tricky situation after they announced that they will be charged and all of that. Uh, don't worry, it is free for you still. Uh, but for a lot of corporate, this is now a talk that uh, what could be the future of the Docker? Should we move into the pods? There is a lot of discussion going on. I will have a discussion with uh, regarding of this uh, for with Rakesh that what future do you think? And then we can talk on that. Probably I'll bring in Rakesh someday. But again, the thing is, uh, I'm so friendly with Rakesh uh, who writes blogs. And he's also a senior DevOps engineer at one of the leading best uh, cybersecurity firm, uh, FireEye. Uh, but I'm so close and friendly to him uh, that it would be difficult to talk in English with him. It would be really uh, awkward. And <laughs> we won't be both, both not comfortable. We are like too close of a friend. So <laughs> we need to be in Hindi and those lazy kind of a fun stuff language. Hey, Shubham, how are you? It's been a while that I have talked to you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being busy. Uh, I'll give you a call very soon to all the team, uh, very soon. Uh, want to love TypeScript, start using Angular. Yeah, that's probably one of the best advice. Uh, if you want to start loving uh, TypeScript, this is best advice summed up all in good, so yeah. Uh, Telesco is great, but why technical saga? I don't know, it showed up on my profile on my page, so page doing good job. I, I remember, like, uh, yeah, just reminds me, Technical Sagar and Technical Guruji, they were the best technical channels of last year, according to the YouTube stats. So, yeah, if YouTube is saying they are something. Kubernetes tutorial. Have you checked our blog? Uh, we have posted, like, eight articles on the Kubernetes. Uh, you can start with there, and hopefully we'll bring them soon. Do you like mechanical keyboards? No, they are too noisy for me. Like I love to record the audio in the highest possible audio quality. And uh, these uh, with mechanical keyboards, they shout a lot. Uh, how to develop communication skills, communicate, talk. That's how you do it. There's no book on that. Uh, though you have less subscribers than other tech YouTubers, but others don't have quality subscribers like you. Absolutely agree. I've seen a lot of subs a lot of YouTubers. Uh, they actually reach out to me on Instagram and on WhatsApp and stuff. They always say that whenever we launch any paid course, there's so much of hate and stuff. And on my channel, the moment I launch a course, it just goes like that. People love to buy courses at my channel. Of course, I do provide quality courses. It's not like I'm just providing anything. Uh, but yeah, I love that. I love that, that how people are uh, going for that. Why are you not teaching .NET? .NET is like way late in the steps. Uh, before the .NET, definitely Java is there. If I have to switch on Spring Boot and all, all that, that is in the priority list first. And even before that, I would love to jump into microservices and Next and Nest because they are more in my friendlier zone. If I have to go into the world of Java, that's a little bit of the out zone, uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, .NET is a little bit more of out zone of me. Uh, there's an interesting super chat. Hope I didn't say it any controversial up here, but <laughs> come on, man. Uh, I am an alt campus alumni and I don't know how other ISA are working, but these guys are awesome and not money minded. Can you believe they even didn't sign a legal agreement? Then they are not proper ISA. Uh, the moment you've signed up or you format a structure of a company of an income share agreement, uh, you need to have a team of lawyers or at least one or two lawyers and a chartered accountant so that all of these things goes. Uh, without the legal agreement, they are they are not a proper income share agreement. You cannot call them. Uh, you have just agreed verbally that, okay, if I'll get a job, I'll pay you this. This doesn't work in the real world. So I think there is a little bit trouble in the company architecture that they have established or they are not properly formed yet. Uh, but again, it's not like I'm trying to demeaning them. Uh, they are doing a fantastic job, not like that. Uh, but this is how it looks for. Okay, uh, do you know uh, Love, Babbar and Anuj Bhaiya? They are putting great content on YouTube channel. Uh, Anuj, I never heard that or never saw that in my feed. Uh, Love, yes, uh, that has come to my feed. I haven't checked yet. Uh, but yeah, Love is that guy no? uh, who is at uh, Amazon, I guess. Ah, recently, I saw his LinkedIn post resigned or something. Probably he's starting a new company or shifting. Haven't checked the content, but I think he's really calm. Uh, the way 
what I look for a content creator is not about how good you are teaching or what you are giving, what amount of content you're giving. He's calm, a smiling face. I think that's more than enough. That's more than enough. Whatever he's giving to you, it's worth it because he's calm and he's with a smiley face and he knows what he's doing. That so I think that that is enough. So I'll, I'll check out his content more. I haven't done that yet. Uh, but again, there are so many creators these days. And I'll definitely, if I like his content, I'll reach him out. We'll invite him sometime here to have a chit chat, fun stuff. You know, just like we are talking, probably a podcast kind of a style. The only uh, criteria is he should have good mic. <laughs> Decent good mic. I hope he, he got that. Okay, uh, video on how to play basketball. Yeah, that I can do. Like, absolutely. I have taught a lot of people how to play basketball, me and my friend. Uh, we used to run an academy, not me actually precisely, but uh, my friend, I used to go just in the late hour or hour and a half. We used to teach small kids uh, how to play basketball as a fun part time. Not for the money because we, we enjoy basketball that much that we used to teach kids how to uh, do all these uh, three pointers and how to build strategies and passing. I, I can do that. I can talk on basketball the whole day. I love that game, man. LCO Pro is more addictive than Netflix. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. And yes, just because you guys say it like it's like a Netflix, we modified our logos and intro animation and all of that. Uh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Okay, so hello, sir. Will you launch more AWS course? Yes, of course. More AWS will come. Uh, but hopefully, <laughs> I don't know when, but yeah. I can edit same image for you. Oh, no, it's too much less approachable as an image. Uh, I won't put that up. It's too vibrant for me. I'm more of a like a cool, chill kind of a person. This red is like too much aggressive. Like this is more over like a Roger Stone's uh, Bella Ciao kind of a stuff. I I'm not into that. <laughs> I listen to that, but I'm not into that. It's been an hour, guys. It's been an hour. Uh, lifetime extended uh, these days. Yeah, I'm getting less time on some days. I'm getting more time on some days. So whenever I get time, I try to spend with you guys and have fun. It, it's a cool thing. I like that. Video on course. No, my friend, you don't need a course video. There is one of the best article on the internet. Not exaggerating. It's to be honest, one of the best. It's on blog.learncode online. This is one of the best article. If you really want to understand in depth about what is course, what problem it creates, how to resolve that, you should read that, man. It's not written by me. It's one of our team. But man, what an amazing in-depth article with everything that you need. It is well precised. So check it out at blog.learncode online and you will never ask anything about course. I don't think so in the video I will be able to do that much of justice to that topic. Uh, what would it take for any YouTuber, known or unknown, or podcaster to bring you to his or her podcast for chat? Nothing much. It's just a little bit free time on my side. Uh, it's not like I don't want to. I want to go there. But there should be like decent audience there. Uh, it's not like I'm not going to... Uh, you, you, you get the idea that if the or YouTuber or the podcaster is having like 10 subscribers and he's saying, hey, come join up here. Uh, I don't want to be your driver for your subscribers. You should get your subscribers on your own with your own hard work and the content, not just with the talks. It should be something more meaningful. And once you have grabbed their initial attention, then uh, if I have some time, I would hop in. Like, no problem at all. Uh, but these days, I'm getting too many requests from YouTubers and from colleges. Email is just flooded up. Hey, come do workshop for us. Uh, but hey, uh, let me just ask one question to all of you who are studying. Okay, are you guys with or against for free internship? Like, by paid internship, by that I mean to say that uh, somebody is taking your skills and is doing putting a work in that and is not paying you. Are you guys with it or against it? It should happen or it should not happen. So just write in the comment section. Are you guys uh, like with the unpaid internship? If somebody is using your skills, you should be paid yes or no. So just write that in the comment section and then I'll come up with a follow up question. So write that up. Okay, so Okay, guest on your Saturday live like love bubber and the, yes, I'll do that. 
so every so no against okay okay so i think against it against it okay so let's get this very straightforward so everybody is saying and i'm with you guys whatever you say i'm with you you are saying that if somebody is using your skills and not paying you it is not good okay we are clear on that we are on the same page okay now if somebody invites a guest or a programmer or anybody in as a guest onto their uh, college for their seminars for their workshop should he be paid or not like can you tell me if if you are inviting a guest in your college or uh, if you are inviting for a workshop or a talk if your college is inviting me should he be paid or not yeah that that is i know it is a tricky question uh, i got you into that so yeah okay so yeah so now i think you got my context of that so my inbox is flooded with these kinds of things that hey come to our college we'll give you exposure come on man exposure to me that's cute <laughs> uh, i don't need your exposure i can do it on my own so yeah i think <laughs> i think now now you got the idea that just so much voice we have raised against uh, that internship should be paid and if you are using somebody's skill you should pay him nicely just like we always do uh, same same thing should happen if you are inviting any stand up comedian if you are inviting any artist or if you are inviting any teacher workshop or a talk he should also be compensated fairly or decently at least okay i think i have taught you a good thing i know i have tricked you i am well aware of that but i think I think now we are all on the same page. Uh no if it is your own college but yes if it is uh, uh, no no I sh if I'll be going in my own college I would be charging like four times. <laughs> like uh depends on how much relation you are having with your college. I don't have much so I would be charging like four times or five times to my own college. Uh Rajat says how much do you expect? I don't expect anything. Like I have been to many colleges VIT SRM and all of that for free. Uh some even uh didn't give me the flight uh return and all that but I was there for some company visit or some of the personal uh stuff but they didn't even give me flights I have been there. But the least I expect is you're going to take care of me at least for travel and my stay. That's what least uh, uh I expect. But of, of course any compensation would be welcome there. Faiz Khan said, "Hitesh sir, becoming professor. Sometimes you have to be. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be. If they want to have a free workshop, they should ask their own professor to be skilled. I can, you can just record this stuff line here, make it a meme or something. If they really want to have a free workshop, they should do it with their own professors. If you need a professors from YouTube or from Money Heist, you need to pay them." <laughs> Okay so this is fun this is fun tell us something about your favorite iced tea want to try it sometime my favorite iced tea is lemon iced tea uh put up oh you need a recipe here we go put up uh, boil up a lot of water and then put up a whole lot of tea like a lot and then just put it and take it out quickly very quickly you don't want to keep it there otherwise it will be bitter so take it out it will give a good color then some lemon a little bit of sweetener however you like put that in the freezer and there we go that's it. it that's it that's it takes okay so i have tricked you okay okay so now we are on to the same page about i'll, I'll probably record a small bit of it uh, as a short so just uh, like that and you can share that probably i'll do that tomorrow <laughs> okay so that was a good one uh, yep it was a good one so now that we know about it and tony stark says he should be paid and the tony stark has said so it should be uh you look like professor <laughs> i am a professor no i'm not technically a professor because i didn't complete my phd but on youtube well yeah i am okay so <laughs> that's all what we're going to do today and uh, i think it was an interesting ending by this question and stuff
And by the way, in case you haven't followed me up on Instagram, there is a lot of giveaway going on for the t-shirt. Didn't give away any t-shirt today. Uh, but if, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. It's Sunday. So a lot of t-shirts are going giveaway at uh, my Instagram. In case you are on Instagram, follow me up there. In case you are not, that's fine. It's okay. So that's it. And bye-bye. Uh, keep enjoying. Keep on learning from all the resources, all the platforms, whatever you like. The most important part is you learn the stuff. And if you find me anywhere on the street or just say hi or offer me a nice tea, that would be more than enough. And bye-bye. Uh, it was fun. It was fun. We'll do that sometime more. <laughs> Good night, all of you.